I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Slim Savage, Slim Lincoln, Slim Nick Infinity Don't need you to confirm what I'm finna be I can wind it down with my enemies I can show the blind what I get to see I can teach the why something interesting Pull up, pull up, pull up, let's let's rap, let's rap Is this thing on? Is it on? Well, it's on Well, let's get it on Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang Gang, 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 gang Salute to my guy Showtime SP He will be by later But I wanted to come and talk to y'all for a little second, I feel like it's time I jump back in my battle rap bag. Um, the whole week has been kind of dedicated to social injustice and, you know, the protests, which are still going on, by the way. Um, but I wanted to jump back in my battle rap bag. Uh, you got URL with an event this weekend where you got battles going on and then you got the sterilized too. So I'm going to just give some quick predictions or whatever the case may be. Then I want to talk about, well, I'm going to talk about a couple things we throw I'm throwing everything in one you know what I'm saying I'm gonna throw everything in one and um you know you get it how you get it but uh salute to every single one of y'all out there I hope that y'all are doing what you're doing in your own personal lives to the best ability that you can you know what I'm saying staying positive out here so let's just start it off with Chef Trez three of them things and Hollow the Don Energy God going back and forth they're going back and forth you know what I'm saying they were sending a couple shots at each other um, Chef Trez is one of those guys who's been pretty much a free agent for the past year or so, about a year. Uh, him and he don't, he, he's one of those type of people that he's going to march to the beat of his own drum. Now, with marching to the beat of your own drum, he took his career into his own hands. For some people that works, for some people that doesn't. But with a brand like Chef Trez, he, he can rap, he can get busy, he can get, he can get down with the best of them. So, him taking his brand into his own hands and wanting to do his own thing wasn't really going to hurt him much because he's still going to be able to get names. He battled Ill Will, he battled Sharon. Him and Sharon was him and Sharon was crazy. Um, so now him and Hollow the Don are kind of like jabbing back and forth at each other. Um, get right into it. Let's get right into it. So Hollow the D -D -D Don um, goes out there. And, well, Chef Trez initiates it because Hollow the Don sent shots at. Chef Trez in his uh, battle recently that he had with Mac Myron. He was saying, you know, the chef this, chef that. You know how it goes. The chef don't want no, woo, 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 woo. don't want no sauce. So, um, Chef Trez responds, is Hollow that Don don't want to battle for real. He just want to send shots. Hollow immediately, immediately responds and says, I tried to battle you twice. Once off cam in NY and now, just now on RBE quarantine, you said no twice. Now, I'm not gonna blame you. Hello. Hello! I'm glad that you made it. It's just too bad you won't make it. Let me holler at you for a second. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. You know you're my guy, lomclothing.com, etc., etc. Don't let that get too far ahead of you. Sent me a bunch of stuff. I sent him a hoodie too. You know, that's my guy. But uh, I gotta break it down how I break it down. You wanted to battle. Chef Trez on quarantine. Chef Trez is not battling Hollow the Don on quarantine. That that just I w if I was Chef Trez, I would have said no too. That's a battle that you guys the rebuttaling, the back and forth, the promotion, everything that could happen with that. Ain't no way in hell I battle you on quarantine. You should you you knew you knew what if you didn't knew you should have knew what you didn't knew what you should have knew. That he wasn't gonna battle you on no damn quarantine. Come on, man. On a video battle, negative. So Chef Tress said, Are you dumb? You try to play me like I'm some little nigga. Fuck you in them fake ass battles. Fuck I look like to you. What do I look like to you? Huh? Huh? Is you shitting me or kidding me? Ain't no forgetting me. Ain't no way I'm battling you on no video battle. Now, salute to RBE and everything they does with the quarantine battles. It's been a way that we have been getting a lot of content during this whole quarantine. Ill Will just went crazy on Shoddy Horror. Where you going with that shotgun, Willie? Manchester, like, uh, Ill Will has been one of the MVPs of this joint. Uh, Street Hymns, Murder Moves Verse, Head Ice. Like, RBE has delivered us a hell of a lot of content during quarantine. So I'm not taking away from what they do on their platform. But, but, 
Chef Trey said, hell no, I'm not battling Hollow Don in no quarantine battle. And I don't blame you. So, um, Hollow Don says, oh, 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 you might not know, but you're a little nigga. You do your little battles, get paid little money, and get little views. Did you think you was big dog around here? Little homie? And I see Hollow Don, he has a way of jabbing back, you know what I'm saying? This is actually kind of funny. You do little battles, you get little views, you get little money, and you a little homie. You a little nigga. You ain't the big nigga, you the little nigga's little nigga, you know what I'm saying? So you little Brian them, little Brian them went and got little Brian them, you know what I'm saying? Little bro, you little bro, it's a little bro, but you ain't, you're like, look like, Little bro. But anyway, so um speed it up. Chef Tress says, and you getting sued right now? Get your priorities in line before you talk to me, bro. Now enjoy your day. I don't do the back and forth. Hollow Don says, Oh, you getting personal. Remember, people sued you because you're getting money. We're both broke. You just broke broke, and I'm broke. Mm, don't like the rebuttal much, but it was what it was. Um, this is a battle. That would have to be three rounds, fourth round, unlimited, freestyle again. Uh, you can't have Hollow the Number Chef Trez on no quarantine. That would actually be, nah, 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 I wouldn't have did that. That would have took away from so much of what it could have been personally, like back and forth, like the, the, the feel the heat when it bangs, when you got a thing, creep in his lane, that's three of them things. Nah, come on, dog, I need that. I need, I need that energy. I can't have you uh, doing no little, no, 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 no. no. Nope, 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 not feeling it. So, um, Chef Trez was smart in that regard. Um, Hollow to Don, uh, he battled Mac Myron in the quarantine battle joint. Uh, he did his thing. I had him winning that. Mac Myron did his thing too, though. Mac Myron is a hell of a puncher, but Chef Trez, he be taking like three, four niggas on this. I think he got like, uh, I think he got quantum physics. He battling clean paper. He's battling blue cocaine. I might, he might be battling me. This nigga battles everybody on them joints. So that's the reason why he was probably like hell no, because he can write a verse. I've spoke. I've literally spoke to Chef Tress. He can write a verse, and if he can't write it, he can freestyle it in no time. And his sound, his freestyle sound like his written. You know, what are Oresti rebuttal? The rebuttals is better than the written. So his, you know, what I'm saying like. That's not the one. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Hollow, hollow, hollow. I fuck with you, hollow, but in that regard, you you definitely tried the little nigga by battling him on a um, on a quarantine. All right, so let's speed it up. Um, you know, like I said, I'm throwing all this shit in one. I ain't making no four or five blogs. Fuck all that. One blog, you get it. You, you if you still you still watching, you still watching. Okay, I'm still watching with you. So URL has the um ultimate madness. I guess this is the bye week or whatever the case may be. You know, the, the the tournament is not happening this week, but you got a couple battles going on. Um, you got Loso versus JC. Um, you got Gunpowder Pat versus Squeako. And I'm kind of looking to the right, to the left, to you, right to me. You know how cameras work. I'm kind of like panning off so I can remember the shits. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no notes or none of that. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Freestyle. Uh, you got. Kid Chaos versus Squeako. Uh, you got Kid Chaos versus Squeako, Gunpowder Pat versus, uh, no, 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 I'm bugging. Kid Chaos versus Real Sick, Gunpowder Pat versus Squeako, Gluezy versus Bill Collector, and you got JC versus Loso. Cool, four battles, right? Got it right? Cool, no nose, let's get it going. Um, let's start with Gunpowder Pat versus Squeako. Um, both lost last week. Um, Gunpowder Pat came closer to winning than Squeako did because Squeako had a, like a choke or stumble in his second round. Um, but that nigga Squeako had one of the best lines of the whole shit where he was between uh, 9 and 10 and 11, nigga the 5th grade or some shit like that. He has mad potential. Uh, Gunpowder Pat has some shit too, but I mean, his flow, like the flow, it's just not as fluid and... If Squeako comes with three clean rounds without stumbling or choking, he gonna have some shit in there. Uh, close battle, I'm going with Squeako 2-1. Uh, uh, Real Sick versus Kid Chaos. Uh, I watched Real Sick versus um, Jaden Nightwing. That battle was really a toss up, but I see why uh, Jaden Nightwing won, because Jaden Nightwing, like, he, he really has some shit. And he was better in this joint versus Real Sick than he was in probably any battle that I've really even seen him in. Um, Real sick got bars, real sick got cadence, real sick got some dynamic punches. Kid Chaos got an elite 
level pen for a young dude. Um, in some regards, he might want to get to the punch a little bit quicker because when you're doing all of this flow and putting all of this shit together and you're going back and forth, do, 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 when you get to the line, if it doesn't hit like that, you just created your own dry spot. But between these two guys, a lot of bars. Um, these are two guys that should, talent-wise, should still be in the tournament, but due to circumstances, they're not. Uh, I got a debatable between these guys. 2-1 either way. Whoever has the better third wins. I, I don't see either one of them being down 2-1 in 2-0 um, going into the third. That would be crazy. And if you get smoked on this shit, like, I don't know. Niggas might start. I don't know. Um, Bill Collector versus Gluizzi. I got that being a funny battle. I don't know how serious. If anybody was, I don't know. I got that being a funny battle because Bill Collector got mad jokes and Louise is going to have jokes. He's going to be cracking jokes about Bill Collector, the hitman, the not shit. Like, I could see that from a mile away. Louise, he has mad jokes. He's funny as hell. Um, I have that being a funny battle. Um, entertaining on both sides. 2-1. Uh, lyrically, I mean, I've only seen Bill Collector really get lyrically lyrical against... T-Top, he did it against Hitman. He got kind of crazy when he was talking about certain shit. So he has the ability to, but if he's on some jokey joke shit, Luiz is going to win. But Luiz needs to win because he has a lot of battles, and I don't really recall a lot of wins. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I could go, but I know battle rap really ain't about winning. But even in not winning, it's not elevating. You know what I'm saying? Like, you battling people who are elevated. He battled Jerry West. Jerry West took the fuck off. He battled Luizzi. I mean, um, Kichi Gotti back in the days. Kichi Gotti took the fuck off. Like, some of the people that he's battling are taking off, but he's not taking off. You know what I'm saying? He's battling folks that are taking off, but his shit got to gotta, gotta level up. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully that works. We'll see how that goes. Um, most interesting battle, Loso versus JC. Um... Loso versus JC. Now, JC was supposed to be battling Emerson Kennedy. I heard that's not happening. Battling two people in two days on two different coasts is just not a good idea. Like, him battling Emerson Kennedy and Loso on a Saturday and Sunday was going to equal one good battle and getting washed or two losses. That's what that was going to equal. It was going to equal one good battle and getting washed or you were going to fuck around and lose both. So, I think that focusing your target on Loso was the better idea but in this regard Loso has so much to gain that JC is gonna bring you JC he's gonna have line after line after line after line you already know what he's gonna bring it's, especially if it's in that small environment where there's no crowd or nothing like that he's gonna be phenomenal but Loso is probably gonna take some he probably has some shit as far as like angle based and Loso could do good in that no crowd reaction no he can do good in that too. Um, Loso doesn't really have a lot of glaring angles besides the Christianity thing, but that kind of gets played out when artists are just going like dissing God over and over and over. But we'll see, because I seen JC battle with Saga, and that battle was closer than he than a lot of JC's battles with other folks. He's smoke niggas, but that was close. Uh, Loso has dope enough pen, and he's a good angler. He's a pretty good angler, so I'm going to go with Loso 2-1. He's got way more to gain in this situation. He's got so much to gain because there's a lot of people who question Loso's uh, resume. You know, he's battled Chef Trez. Uh, Chef Trez got that. Um, he battled Scotty. You know, uh, he got Scotty. That was way back. Um, he was supposed to battle K-Shine. That never happened. So his, a lot of people question his position in URL versus his resume. It's like his resume, he ain't really had a whole lot of battles and shit, you know what I'm saying? But he did come off the two and two with A Ward, salute to A Ward and Saga and everybody else. But um I'm going with uh Loso 2 1. It's just how I'm calling it. Um Sterilized. Battles on the roof, the loser gotta jump. Um see if I get this right. I heard um, if I don't talk about the battle, I heard it's not happening. I'm not even gonna get up here and be like this person versus this person, and I heard it's not going to happen. And I heard whatever reason, it's not going to happen. So it is what it is. I'm not doing that. Um, franchise versus Rum Nitty, I heard it's not happening. I heard Rum Nitty can't. I heard Franchise can't get into the borders right now. It's what I heard. Like, And if it does happen, so what? You know, the weatherman is wrong every day. You still watch the nigga. What the fuck? But I heard Franchise can't get into the country, so I heard that battle's not happening. Um, 
Emerson Kennedy versus JC. I heard that's not happening because uh, JC battles Oso, so it's, that's not gonna happen. Um, what about a battle that I heard is gonna happen? Oh, Gigi Gotti versus Chilla Jones. Uh man, that is crazy. That is crazy. Uh, Gigi Gotti has been like the fucking quarantine god. If anybody could push his pen or push him to the limit, it's gonna be Chilla Jones. Chilla Jones is very fucking nice. And he has been very, very nice. Uh, lyrically, Chilla Jones may get it, but Geechee Gotti's got a fucking fan base that's out of this world. And if Geechee Gotti shows up with three rounds and has the moments, he's still gonna win. Like, it's one of them things, like, if he don't lose, he's gonna win. You know what I'm saying? If he don't lose, he's gonna win. Got that battle being very close. Um, until somebody really beats Geechee Gotti like that, or smoke some, I'm still gonna roll with the high head. So I'm going to get you got a slight, 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 slight fucking edge. Um, Jerry West versus B Magic. Jerry West 3 0. Um, I can't even recall the last battle B Magic won. I, I fuck with B Magic. I like what B Magic does, but I just, I, I cannot recall the last battle B Magic won. I'm fucking, I, I, I don't know. I don't even know. The last battle he's even had three rounds for. I don't fucking know. I, I don't know. That's the question of the day. I don't know what's the last battle. Uh, Jerry West has been doing his thing. He's gonna come up, you know what I'm saying? He's been smoking shit. He's been wilding. He's been having moments. He went crazy versus Glue Easy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there should be a, another subsidiary guy. Like, you know, when they try to like push niggas to that next level, they get an artist. Like back in the day, I've seen DNA do it. I've seen Shotgun Shook do it. Be that guy that a lot of the cats are battling. Oh, they've been doing that shit with B Magic a lot recently. He just ain't been bringing no 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 sauce like that. Y'all need to find another glue guy that y'all gonna have battle with new niggas. Not glue easy, but another like a, a a guy that's like a name, but he ain't like a big name no more. So you ain't gotta pay him as much, but he's still a name, but one that's gonna bring it. You know what I'm saying? Not one that's gonna be like half-assing this shit. But who knows? B Magic could have a flashback performance. I don't fucking know. Oh, uh, Mike P versus T-Top, uh, I heard that's not happening, um, for whatever reason. I don't know the reasoning, but I heard it's not happening, so I'm not going to go over that. Um, oh, New Jersey Twerk versus uh, Danny Myers. Got Danny Myers 2-1, close battle. Uh, New Jersey Twerk is prepared. Uh, he could definitely bring some smoke. That's what he do, you know what I mean? Like, regardless of how anybody feels... When he's in his bag and his element, he's one of the better ones at this, you know what I'm saying? But the inconsistencies is probably what have led people to the doubt. But uh, Danny Myers brings it every fucking time. Like, he's not going to not bring it. Only time he didn't bring it is when he battled three people in three days, and that was some crazy shit right there. But he doesn't do that anymore. So, with that being said, fully prepared both MCs. Pretty close battle. I still got Danny Myers edging it 2-1. Um, do -do 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 -do. I don't think there's any more. But uh, that whole setting, oh, Casey J versus um, Coffee Brown. I heard that's happening on the roof. Uh, that's a dope battle. Casey J got a lot of bars. Coffee Brown got a lot of bars. Hmm. Whew. Ah, man. I'm kind of leading 2 1 either way, but I like Coffee Brown and I like LA. Uh, but I don't think Casey, I don't see Coffee Brown losing and I don't see Casey J losing. So. I don't know. It's one of those things. Y'all you, niggas tell me what y'all think. Um, other than that, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. I definitely wanted to put these predictions out before all of these battles start happening. Me and my guy Showtime SP will be back with y'all later on to do recaps or whatever the case may be. I didn't want to have them come for predictions and then come back for recaps. You know what I'm saying? That man got a life too. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, it's one of them things where... We get back, back to the motions, back to the rhythms, you know what I'm saying, you know, the battle rap shit. But I didn't want to flood the streets with mad battle rap content while all of this stuff was going on in the world, you know what I'm saying, all the protests, all the riots, which are rightfully so. I didn't want to, like, flood the timeline with battle rap. But uh, we jumping back in that battle rap bag. Um, but other than that, salute to every single one of y'all and get up out of here. Holla! Slim Savage, Slim Lincoln, Slim Nick Infinity Don't need you to confirm what I'm finna be I can wind it down with my enemies I can show the blind what I get to see I can teach the why something interesting Change the paralyzers, not feeling me I can close the fine identity Licks and poems, zip as I wrote Just another nigga different, I know Learned to love my roots as I grow Many want a noose on my throat The last of a dying breed